dudes, it's Demi, and tonight I am back at Universal City Walk. Tonight, we are gonna be dining at Big Fire American Fair. This is actually not my first time dining at Big Fire. I filmed an entire video here before, but it's gone. It's in the abyss. It disappeared. It no longer exists, and I'm really sad because I actually had a really great experience at Big Fire, and I'm really sad it's gone, but I'm really happy to come back and take you along with me again, but you guys actually can see it this time, um, and try some more things. I was able to find a couple of pictures, so maybe I'll throw them in here along the way as we go and try some stuff over in Big Fire. So let's get in there, let's get to eating, and let's go get into some hijinks. I was just taken to my seat. It is so nice in here. So Big Fire uses wood to use smokiness into most of their foods and their drinks. So here is a look at their cocktail menu. They're known for their old fashions and their Manhattans. Um, but my server actually suggested maybe getting something a little bit different. And I'm really excited to try it. So the last time I was here, I did try their old fashioned, just their smoked old fashioned, which is a uh, Knob Creek smoked maple bourbon, beef jerky smoked over oak, and it was really tasty. So full of flavor and smokiness, and it's very unique and very full of flavor. And I would definitely recommend that if you do like old fashions, but I'm super excited to try something different this time and a little bit, you know, different from an old fashioned. Here is my cocktail. I got the raspberry lemonade recommended by my server. It's Tito's Vodka Fresh Lemonade St. George Raspberry Liqueur for $14.50. It looks super refreshing. Let's give it a try. Cheers. That's so good. That is really sweet, fruity, and tart a little bit, but mostly sweet, but very refreshing. Like you can taste the fresh lemonade in there. Um, very like light on the vodka, definitely, but it's after like a very hot day in Orlando. That is a very refreshing cocktail and very very different from that smoky old fashioned, especially like like not smoky at all. Very refreshing, very very tasty. Taking a look at the food menu, there is so many yummy options here. For starters, you have some really great things like mussels and oysters, and you have the bourbon cheese fondue, and I got that last time, which I'm so sad that I lost that footage. It was so good. I'll insert the picture because it's so delicious, but it's it was a lot of food, especially I'm one person. Again, I cannot do it again. It was so much food for one person, but it was so delicious. That cheese was so cheesy. It had so much flavor and all of the fixings around it with the cauliflower, the shishito peppers, and the bread and the carrots and the um, I did the um, the andouille sausage it was so delicious um, they also have some burgers here um, and they have of course um, some steaks and they have their entrees other entrees you have some lamb shanks that you can do a some scallops the last time I was here I actually did a Dutch oven beef burgundy which is like a Julia um, child beef bourguignon and it was really tasty I'm sad I don't have the photo for that um, this time I'm not gonna actually do a starter I am going to do for an appetizer the campfire chili so I'm super excited to try that and then I will decide on which entree I'm gonna get and which sides I'm gonna get because they do have a bunch of really yummy looking and sounding sides so let's get some campfire chili here is that bowl of chili it comes with cornbread and sour cream and it's only eight dollars and this is like a pretty decent portion for eight dollars it smells really good i love me some chili let's dig in let's do it yeah i'm here for the chili that's pretty good I always could use my chili to be like a little bit spicy, but it cooks really well, has a lot of good flavor. I love the sour cream in it. I think it's really, really tasty. The meat is really, really good. It's really, it's so hot, not really hot. It's really like, it's a really good bowl of chili. And for $8, like this is like a meal on its own, honestly. Let's try the cornbread. I like put it all together. It kind of looks gross all together, but I'm, I don't care. It's amazing all together. I don't care. It's great. Yeah, that's a really good bowl of chili. 
No complaints, very good, very tasty, and especially for the price, eight bucks. Really good bowl of chili. I'm excited to um, pick out an entree, because with the smokiness of all the wood that happens in here, and you can like smell it while you're just even sitting here, I'm very excited to see how this comes out. My entree has arrived and I was kind of debating between the lamb shank this time or a steak and I did decide to go for a classic cowboy ribeye. It looks absolutely amazing and it smells amazing. Like you can smell that wood, that smokiness. It comes with some carrots and some potatoes. And I also got one of the premium sides. It's the pork belly mac and cheese. The, the premium sides are seven and the regular sides are six. The cowboy ribeye is $43. I can't wait to dig into this. This looks amazing. I got it medium um, and I, I'm so excited to try this. I, I Let's just dig right into it. I know it's a little dark in here, but this does look like it's cooked correctly as medium. So all of you medium rare purists, please don't come at me in the comments. Um, my body does not handle medium rare, even though it is delicious. So please don't yell at me. <laughs> um, but this looks really good, so let's give it a try. It definitely has its pink in there. It's definitely cooked the right way. Let's see if it's good. Yeah. That is good. Okay, so I love ribeye. It is my favorite cut of steak. And I, for a long period of time, like my husband and I were like trying to like find all the best like ribeyes around like where we live. And this is a really good one. Um, I think it's really tender. It has a lot of great smoky flavor from that wood. And it has like good salt in it. It's really tasty, but the best part about it is it's really just like tender. It's not chewy at all. I'm gonna take some more bites. The sear on the outside is really done very well. Lots of flavor, and again, like it's not chewy. It's not hard to swallow. I'm able to take like a few bites and swallow it pretty easily. Like it's it's really really good. Like I'm going right into the center where it could get very chewy and it is not. That is a really, really, really great steak. I highly recommend that. And honestly, like, it's a pretty big, like, ribeye. Um, I, I, like, I know it, this sounds weird because it's $43, but steak is expensive. And I'm coming from New York where, like, steak is really expensive. So this is really not terrible for a ribeye steak. So I would really recommend this one 100%. Um, I'm gonna try some of the little fixins and then we're gonna try the mac and cheese. Carrots. Ooh. There's so much smokiness on that carrot from the wood. That is so good and it's surprising. Mm. And it's not like soggy, it's nice and like crispy, but it's soft at the same time. This place is so good. That was really good. Let's try the potato. Potato's fine, nothing really crazy, soft. Decent flavor. I could have added a little salt to it, but it's really fine. But you know, you guys also get that little bit of smokiness on there. Overall, an incredible dish. That steak is really, really wonderful. Um, I'm very, very impressed. But let's try that pork belly mac and cheese. Okay, this looks so good. I am very excited. I love me some mac and cheese. It's got that like white cheese on there. You can see that pork belly in there. Let's dig in. All right, let's dig in. Here we go. That is so good. That is so cheesy. I need more bites. That mac and cheese is so cheesy. The pork belly is like cooked well. It's like salty, but the real like star is like just like the mac and cheese like being all cheesy. But the pork belly is nice with it. Like you get like some saltiness from it and you get like a nice texture from it. Overall, like really, really good side dish. Really good pairing. Really good meal. I am so full. Um, wow, this this is so cheesy. The um, the pasta is cooked really well. It's a really good side dish. I mean, to me, you can't ever really go wrong with mac and cheese. Honestly, even when mac and cheese is bad, it's like usually pretty good. Um, but that's a really good one. I like the pork belly with it. Good pairing. 
I'm so full. Such a good meal. I'm like hot. <laughs> Overall, great pairing, so I think if you just get exactly what I got to, you're gonna have a really great night. Whew, I'm so full though. I am gonna skip out on dessert tonight. There are a couple of options for dessert. They do have a baked Alaska, which I did get last time, and I am so sad I do not have a photo of it. It's gone. It was interesting. It was like fine. They do have the table size, uh, table side s'mores, um, which I would love to do, but I am so full right now. So I think that is something I will have to return to Big Fire for in the future. So definitely look out for that in the future. You also had a Dutch apple pie. So I think, I think we're good tonight. I think we're going to wrap up and uh, let's look at the bill and call it a night. So the bill before tip is 77.17, which, you know, we did get a steak, you know, definitely it's, you know, uh, on the higher end for dining, but it's, you know, not like the highest end, I guess. I mean, if you can definitely make this a lower bill if you'd like to, you know, again, you don't have to get a steak. I did get a steak. Honestly, you can come and get some chili and some appetizers and definitely make it a lower bill, but um, I think... I feel like everything so far that I've gotten here, I have I've definitely enjoyed, and I definitely want to return to Big Fire in the future and try some more stuff. Um, definitely a great night here. Well, my dudes, that was Big Fire. There's also a bar, by the way, and they may have walk-up availability if you don't have a reservation at a universal restaurant and you'd like to eat somewhere. So definitely come and see if there's some walk-up availability for the bar. Um, or if you just want to come and maybe try to get a really great old-fashioned or one of those like yummy lemonades that I got tonight, see if there's some availability at the bar. Um, this is a really great spot. I definitely want to come back and do that like s'mores table side service and try some other goodies here as well and I think you know I would love to come back with some other people and try to do maybe the fondue again and you know film it and keep that film this time <laughs> but it you know this place is really good definitely high quality food um, and you know again it is you know a little bit more in price for certain things because you know it is steak and steak is always going to be on the higher end of things but honestly like I said like for ribeye, $43, that's like really not, not a terrible price for ribeye. Like I've paid like really way more expensive, way more expensive times for ribeye. That's really not a terrible price at all. And it was a really good ribeye. I have a lot to take home. So I'm excited to have some leftovers. Um, and I'm excited to come back here one day. So definitely look out for more Big Fire videos in the future and more, of course, universal content and City Walk uh, restaurants in the future. And anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit your bell notification so you don't miss anything that comes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram at Magical Hijinks. Be sure to check out my Patreon. Become a patron, you'll get exclusive bonus content. You'll be helping me to continue to create great content here on this channel. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get some hijinks very, very soon. Bye bye. -bye.